In nature, colour serves a number of different purposes, and we're all familiar with animals that use colour to serve as a warning, to attract a mate, or to camouflage themselves. However, the purpose of one kind of coloration, iridescence, has long eluded biologists. Unlike most colours, which are produced by pigments, iridescence is a structural colour, most commonly caused by an interference of light by multiple layers of reflective nanostructures within a surface. Its different colours are generated depending on the spacing between these reflective layers and the effect produces bright metallic colours that change as you move around the object. This kind of coloration is well known from the feathers of some birds, but by far the most common place that you'll find it is in the exoskeletons of beetles. But here the purpose of this colour isn't immediately obvious. In many animals, iridescence can be explained by sexual selection, as it serves an important signal in mate choice. However, it can't explain why we find iridescence in non-reproductive life stages, such as beetle grubs, caterpillars, or even butterfly chrysalises. This leaves us with two other possible hypotheses. That iridescence could serve as a warning signal to discourage predation, or that it could be camouflaging beetles from predators. So to test which hypothesis is correct, a team of researchers at the University of Bristol devised two simple experiments. First, they produce replicas of the beetles in a multitude of colours and placed them around the forest against different backgrounds and recorded predation attempts by birds. Here, iridescent colours performed exceptionally well, experiencing fewer predation attempts than any other colour with the exception of black. So that's all well and good, but it doesn't explain why there were fewer predation attempts. Could the birds not see the iridescent models as well, or were they actively being discouraged? So in the second part of the experiment, the researchers asked people to go into the forest to try and spot the same models. Since they wouldn't be put off by any bright colours, as birds might be, they'd be able to provide an independent measure of how easily the models were seen. As with the first experiment, humans had difficulty in spotting the iridescent models, and this conclusively demonstrates that iridescence does indeed function as a kind of camouflage. But camouflage against what? It seems counterintuitive that bright metallic colours could help hide an object, except for in front of a bright metallic background. However, camouflage works in more ways than just matching foreground and background colours. In these experiments, it was also shown that the iridescent models became harder to detect with the increased glossiness of the background, performing best against shiny leaves. It's thought that the changeability of the iridescent colours makes it harder to spot recognisable outlines against the background that's also reflecting and scattering light. Iridescence functions as a unique kind of disruptive camouflage. And so when it comes to camouflaging beetles, sometimes the most garish colours can be the hardest to spot. 